Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Princess Monet and today I'm back with another video. I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial which I feel like I haven't done in a while. A lot of people have been asking me on my Instagram to do one. So I decided since I was watching the Aaron Hernandez case on, um, on Netflix, decided to record myself doing my makeup. Which I didn't even end up going anywhere, I just went to the mall. But I did get a lot of compliments so I'm not sure what I'm going to call this look. But shout out to my co-workers for getting me this palette for my birthday. Love you guys. And yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then keep watching. So for this video, I mainly wanted to focus on my eyes. So my face is pretty much done for the most part. But later on in the video, I will do my last finishing touches. For this makeup look, I'm going to be using the Morphe Palette 35H Hotspot. Which, like I said, shout out to my co-workers. And I'm going to be going in with that mint shade if i find out exactly what color it is i will be writing it down below for you guys but yes this one right here which is super pretty so just like my other videos i really don't go into this video like with a certain look that i have in mind i just look at the colors and figure out what i'm gonna do like right then and there so this part is super easy i'm just gonna be covering both of my lids the whole entire lid with that mint color So I don't have the palette in front of me right now, but I will be writing down the names. This is like a teal color to me, like almost like a gray as well. It's like a mixture. Super pretty. So I decided to put that on the outer crease. So, I mean the outer corner. So I'm going to be focusing on the outer corner for both eyelids, but I do drag it into the inner corner just a little bit. But I make sure to apply the most pressure on the outer corner. It just makes it look really in-depth and super intense and i don't know i just thought the colors i wasn't sure if the colors were gonna look right together but i was just crossing my fingers and it ended up looking so pretty so i'm really excited on how this look turned out So now this part is very important. I never used to do this and then I was wondering why my, you know, my eyeshadows look crazy. But all I'm doing is taking that mint shade and blending out the edges just so everything looks a little bit softer and not just like so random. It just makes it look prettier. So the next step that's very important for an eyeshadow look is to make sure you have that color that you use on the outer corner at the top and drag it out at the bottom. So you're going to be putting that dark teal color on the lower lash line. And after I use this teal color to blend it in even more, I'm going to go in with that mint color right below it. And then I'm just going to start blending that out.
Next, I'm going to be going in with this Morphe Setting Mist and spraying my Morphe brush just so I could pick up the shimmery glitter color a little bit more rather than it being on a dry brush. I feel like the wetness really picks it up and it looks even prettier and brighter on the eyes. So I'm going to be taking this color and placing it on the inner corners of my eyes. So not only did I place the shimmer on the inner corners of my eyelids, I did place it um, under my brow and my brow bone, which it makes it like super pretty and super highlighted. And next I'm going to be going in with my old, old palette, you guys. This is so hideous. I don't even, I shouldn't even be showing this. But yes, I still use this. I'm going to be going, I believe it's the NYX. I have no idea. I'm definitely going to write it down below. But I'm going to be taking that and bronzing up my face, just sharpening it up a little bit. So I have no idea how to explain how to put on eyeliner, you guys, because one of my wings always looks different than the other. So after all these years, nope, still not a pro at this, but I do try. I'm going to be going in with this NYX or NYX Epic Liner. And then I'm going to be going in with my CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. So next I'm going to be going in with my Airspun Loose Face Powder, my setting powder. The only thing about this one is that it can get cakey really quick. So I would suggest just placing it where, you know, where I'm putting it right now, where I normally would. The thing is you just have to wipe it off really quickly and it will work just fine. If you leave it on for too long, it's going to look thick and cakey and you don't want that. So it is super pretty and it does get the job done. Just like I said, just wipe it off as soon as you can. Next, I'm going to be going in with this Be A Light Becca palette. It has a highlight, a blush, and a bronzer. So I always mix the bronzer and the brush, and I do place that like on my cheekbones, which it looks super pretty. Within that blush, there is a highlight, but I do go in with a extra highlight because, you know, that's like the best part of the look. Um, so I do go in with my Becca highlight in the shade opal which is so pretty and it's super bright it's like you can see that from down the block but yeah i do place that where i normally would which is like on my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose and i do add that on the inner corner of my you know my eyes and under my brow bone So for the last thing, I do go in with this L'Oreal Paris Holographic Lip Gloss, which is still one of my favorites. It's super pretty and super glossy. If you look closely, they have like a hint of blue, purple, pink, which I felt like it went really well with my eyeshadow look. And to finish it off, I do go in with my Morphe Setting Mist. Bomb, bomb, bomb. This look was so easy, you guys. I only used like two or three colors. Super simple and pretty, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please comment below. I love you guys so much and thank you for watching this video. See you in my next one.